Hi Collective, welcome to the channel, Cosmic Divine Dreamers. Hi everyone. So, this is going to be a very, very beautiful reading. I'm so excited because just amazing things are happening. Um, activations, integrations, upgrades. Um, there's a lot of powerful things that are happening. So I know I've been offline um, from this channel for a couple days as I've been working on some other things. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm working on, you should come over to my Facebook. I've got it linked down below because I've been disclosing and releasing and dropping some things on Facebook as I'm working on setting up other platforms, right? Um, I know I really need to get focused more on my work at this time and different things, right? But I've been processing a lot of things and going through major downloads um, and getting things revealed to me. So I've been having to process, a lot, process out a lot of things, right? So... Anyways, I'm really excited because we are like 24 hours, or no, 48 hours out from the equinox. There's major changes coming on September 23rd with this equinox. Really, um, when this happens, it's like a gateway is opening up, right? And, uh, I mean, we're already feeling the energies because it's like the door is being opened already, right? Which is why I feel this intense energy, but it's really bringing in justice. I've already got some justice coming in. So exciting for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while. I've been talking about my daughter being away from me, and um, it's been a, it's been a long time. And um, <laughs> we won. <laughs> so um, yeah, her her plane is getting um, her ticket is getting booked today. So I'm getting my daughter back. So I'm super excited. So you're probably going to be seeing huge amounts of energy because it's been, um, you know, it, it's been hard because that's been weighing on, on my heart too because I've been trying to get her back, right? And having to go through the court system and everything. Um, so yeah, because my family was under heavy attack, right? But anyway, so for all of you that have been sending me prayers and blessings and your energy, I've been feeling it. I really have. Um, so thank you so much. So I just wanted to share that. It's very exciting. All right, so um, so anyway, yeah, like um, I'm gonna pull some tarot and get into, of course, the energy cards. As I always work with the gateways and the portals, right? And we have another portal coming to us. And I mean, these things are coming fast. There's an alignment. It's like um, I keep getting the power of three and triangle. I keep seeing that symbol. Um, there's really something coming together, major um, trinity. There's something with threes because we've had three gateways, nine nine. And 918, which, you know, is nines in numerology, 1 and 8, and then on the 27th, along with the gateway um, to Equinox. And whenever, like, I had my first major activation that shot me up to Christ consciousness level was when I had my, um, it was, yeah, it would have been the last Equinox, actually, when I got this deck, when I went through, like, a Kundanali activation, um, is kind of what happened because that's like where you finally release the the energy that's deep rooted within your your lower chakras and when you untwist it and the energy shoots up and it was like all of a sudden all of my chakras were in alignment and I was connected and I was going through other things too like I um you know I was really purging out a lot of the toxins out of my body I was doing intermittent fasting right um and I was just really eating a lot of like fresh fruits fruits I really just kind of went on fruits and I was going very light on water because you have to be careful. I mean, definitely, like I was drinking a lot of juices and not waters. And I know I don't always like to say that because you need to drink a lot of water, but you need to be careful about the water that you are drinking because they do put a lot of fluoride in it, which calcifies your penile gland, right? So there's a lot of different things um, that go into these. And I wanted to bring up alcohol um, it, um, in this too, as because um, I know a lot of you, you know, I mean, drinking can be your own thing, but you want to know that if you want to go through this major activation and awakening that you need to cut out all alcohol because alcohol actually numbs your body, it numbs your chakras, and it blocks them, and it disconnects you from source. So if you drink, that is how they have allowed mass control and all of that because when you numb yourself down, you're not connecting with divine source energy with God or not in that creative energy. So that, that's why a lot of times, too, when you do that, it numbs you to where if you have emotional traumas and deep, deep woundings and things like that, it makes it very easy for the enemy to 
enter your body, right? And that's why people lose control of their mouth and their words and all of that stuff. If you ever notice sometimes in certain people that have a lot of trauma, they drink. As soon as they drink, it's like all of a sudden they lose the filter and they're very, you know, because um, entities and demons, they like to, do, you know, use very dirty, foul language, disgusting gestures and behaviors, and they really just take control over the body, right? Because you're numbed out, you lose all control or whatever, and those things come in and make you act out and lust and things like that. That's why demons are meant to destroy things, right? And they know this. They know that. That's why it's everywhere. <laughs> that's why that's legal. And the amazing plant that actually activates you and can unlock, you know, and connect you with divine source energy that was created here for just that is is illegal or has been. But like, like I just always knew that, right? And then, you know, the universe is very much alive, right? And that is why magical mushrooms started popping up everywhere and all of that. Because there's different things that you can do to expand and open up your mind as we were always supposed to be able to do that. To connect, knowing that we are one with um, God, Divine, Source, Energy, Mother Gaia is very much alive. Everything is alive, really. All right, so I don't know how deep I wanted to get into this, but so I want to let you know that I feel it's very, very important that you're very, very careful too because also a lot of things are, are destabilizing and starting to balance out. So it's like a lot of the demons and the entities and all of that are kind of really getting thrown around. And I've called in extra protection and guidance um, because of all of the dark energies and stuff that are that are surrounding that are really trying to destabilize and things like that so be careful of like being surrounded by lower vibrational energies being surrounded by um like um the music low vibrational um to movie shows so be very careful of like um what is that the news you know that i wanted to say like the the media, all of that. Like, I literally shut off that stuff. Like, I can't even tell you how many of, like, things that I shut off and I unfollow because I don't want it to go on my news feed. There's certain, like, family members, friends, things like that I've had to unfriend and disconnect from because of the stuff that they share is such low vibrational. It's trying to drop my level down. And a lot of times that's why whenever you hear whispers to do things, people that don't realize that that's not their, their um, that's not them that's the devil whispering things in your ear. yes share this do this talk about this anytime you're sharing something and you're talking about something a little vibration that's the devil really whispering that to you even though you feel as though you may be sharing awareness you're not <laughs> you're, you're you're gossiping for the devil because whenever you talk about anything you're really gossiping you're not, it's not your business to share other people's business it's really not you're still unless it's of love and light and even then people like to be the one to share their own beautiful stories right they do so unless you're sh well it's like if you're sharing something like giving somebody acknowledgement and praise you know and it's uplifting so many others and that's beautiful but sometimes you don't realize too people like to do things in quiet like i don't like to get praise for the things that i do so if people do point out to somebody else and they come at me like oh it was so sweet of you to do that i'm just like eh, yeah. like i didn't really want to know right i feel like it takes away from the person that i gave from too you know it's kind of like if you've ever been one to be like a receiver of something do you want like your picture take it like how would you feel if somebody like took their picture of them giving to you and doing something sweet like it wouldn't you know it's things like that that's why we've all been things are just been just there's so much like gossiping. The devil makes you want to talk about others and gossip and, and share things. And that's what's so hard is they put it out there for us. Oh, it's just a little click of a button, a share button, a comment button. Everybody gets in everybody else's business. It's what they wanted. And you don't realize how fast you're spreading that dark, dense energy, which is disguised as devil dark energy, right? That's what they wanted. That's how they control us within this matrix. So be careful. That's why it's better to be very mindful. If you know that like your words create and if you want to create a very beautiful life, be very careful that everything that you say is very beautiful and powerful and uplifting. And that if you're going to influence another, if you know you're not going to do it in a very positive, uplifting way, then don't do it. Like it's not good to just uh, say all these things that you're feeling. Now, yeah, you need to release things when you're feeling that intense energy from within and you're mad and you're angry because that is our us being human, feeling emotions and feelings, right? But you have to 
release in another way by blowing out your dark energy because whenever you take a deep breath in you're calling in beautiful divine support and angels it's your way of like you're never alone you always have angels with you so if you feel as though you can't handle something if you breathe and blow out fear and anger and you take a deep breath in your angels are like <gasps> immediately like oh she needs help he needs help let's go in there it's kind of like you know that refer and you feel the love come in you feel refreshed it's kind of like if you've been holding your breath for a while underwater right as soon as you come up you take that deep breath and then you're relaxed because you're filled with air and you know you're okay that's kind of what happens but most people don't realize that when they're angry they're holding their breath they're holding on to that dark energy that's why sometimes going for a walk or doing something to change your mind you release that dark energy because then when you're holding that dark energy then the, then, then it's like the entities smell fear and anger then they jump in and that's what makes you want to keep going you're like yeah yeah tell them what you feel yeah 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 all this stuff right so wow i'm really getting into all this all right so just be very careful about all that stuff right um it's very contagious, too, because if a demon sees it can't take over one, it jumps to another. I've literally watched demons jump around the room into one and another one of my kids, and I have to go battle out of one, then out of the other, then out of the other. And I finally realized how to do it. I flip it with love. When somebody is angry and mad, whether they're a kid or not, they don't want to be told what to do. Until you calm that kid down, <laughs> Is a lot of times it's the entity within them that is how that they're housing, right? So... You gotta find a different approach. Try to let everything go with love and light, right? So they're showing me the seven of wands. This is somebody that is definitely putting up boundaries, blocking out a lot of this stuff. You need to know a lot of times you're being tested. So somebody is being called to move away from something very carefully. With this six of swords, if you look, she is walking on top of those swords. So she's definitely... She's coming above all of these painful things. Like somebody is really trying to create blocks for you, trying to cut you with these different things. A lot of times if you can detach from like the person, like sometimes when my kids are saying like very mean, like hateful things because they're angry. I'm just like, eh, that's not even them saying that. That's the entity. I know my chicken, you know. They're processing something. They're going through something, right? So when you learn to look at things and you rise above and it's at, at, at um, you look at how you react to a situation opposed to letting it react to you, you start to feel more and more empowered too. When you stop letting people have control over your emotions and you have more control. It's very powerful. So I forgot I got right into the deck. I wanted to show you guys them. The Luna Soul Tarot, this is what I was guided to with the Equinox for last year. And this deck is like no other. It's very unique. And um, oh, let me turn this fan. It's a little warm in here. So um, it's, it's very unique. It's like no other. It's like a balance of the light and the dark. Because we all are supposed to have that dark side. That's what causes us to create our boundaries. If we were all of love and light and this beautiful and we didn't have our, our shadow sides to, to embody, you know, our animalistic <laughs> Side, then we wouldn't be able to defend ourselves right and we wouldn't be able to um, set boundaries and things like that so um, you have to have that balance right and this is what's beautiful because um, a lot of times you often or the way our world is is it gets you to act down those darker energies right and then it's like if you hold on to any bit of resentment and fear and anger you're going to attract more of it and then sometimes it can be just more and more intense more and more difficult situations right so anyways this deck is very beautiful um i'm getting that with this too there's a lot of um different hands here so i feel that there's a lot of different people that have been coming at you that you may be needing to stand up to whether if this is creating boundaries like at work family friends things like that um so you just need to stop giving your power away stop letting people tell you what to do walk all over you things like that but have sovereignty over your emotions wow three of cups <laughs> so this is a beautiful energy of celebration of coming together these cards are really light too so the the lighting doesn't um do the judge they're going to be celebrating within a family i know my daughter's going to be coming out in this reading <laughs> Because I told you, feeling the beautiful love. She's so excited. <laughs> it's like that, like, wish 
You know, like when you get like a wish granted and it feels like a dream because it's so surreal. Like, um, like that is what she's feeling right now. And, um, it's so beautiful. So yeah, definitely there is, um, celebrating healing coming together within a family. You know, and I feel a lot of this stuff is happening because a lot of justice is coming in. Now, this is probably my most favorite card of this deck, right? Because it's so unique and it's like no other. This is the Ten of Swords, which represents, you know, all of the pain. What's beautiful about a Ten of Swords is you've reached the ending that a new beginning is emerging. The final part is releasing and letting go. But if you look at this specific card, you see all those different swords. This figure here, whether male or female, gender is, you know, just energy. Or this is energy, gender doesn't matter. But if you look at him there, though, he's stabbed, if I can get it to focus, with several different swords. So he's been hurt by many different people, situations that have caused a lot of pain. And those swords have been there for such a long time that they actually have started to grow flowers on them. And if you look, he's been attacked in many different ways, you know, like his mind, spiritual warfare, his heart, his body, his arm, just all of these different things. Somebody has been attacked at all angles. And the fact that each one of these swords have a flower on it, which also shows me that each one of these painful situations was released with love. This is somebody that has healed themselves, that has went through a lot of pain and has healed themselves. And you know what? When you can do that... You're going to get a wish granted. You know you're going to get a wish granted. Sonny can't have this much love. And that's often what it is. It's often the final part, too, to closing out a very challenging sign is to release it with love. Like I told you, if you constantly have somebody battling and, you, and coming at you, have you ever thought, well, maybe they, they have a lot of wounds and it's easier for them to be in their dark side energy. Maybe the reason why they're coming at you very strongly is because that that demonic entity is that that their housing is taking over them because you can very much create your own demons if you have a lot of darkness you conjure them up and alcohol just releases them to have full control over you so a lot of times like i say it's not even the person a lot of times it's just the situations all the people that have broken somebody down and sometimes it can just be so hard to find a way to heal from that, right? Often the ones that are the meanest and the cruelest are the ones that have been hurt the most. And they're the ones that need the most amount of loving. Maybe if you could just show them a little bit of love. And sometimes showing love is just having compassion and forgiveness for somebody. It doesn't mean you have to be their best friend and go around them all the time. But forgiving them. Maybe just letting them know that you forgive them. Maybe you'd be the first one to give them a little bit of compassion to make them... You know, sometimes it's the littlest things that you can say to somebody that they're going to remember forever. They're, <laughs> let me tell you, there's been times I've had people have said things to me. Times where, like, I've gotten no validation whatsoever from my family, from my friends, from anything about starting my channel, about the work that I've been doing, or about being a mom. Like, nobody ever gives me um, credit. So, when I get the comments, when I started to get the comments on the channel of people just telling me just beautiful things, how it, re it helped them, how it worked with them, and, you know, things like that, just the amount of love that I, that I felt, because you had no idea that those were like the first validations that I've ever received. You know, so it's little things like that. Or when I have strangers that will just come up to me and will just say, like, I can tell you're a very good mother. You know, watching me, even <laughs> times that, like, I may be um, frustrated with my kid, but I, but they could tell that, obviously, I've had such a, a challenging time. You know what I mean? It, it's one of those times where it's, like, you know that somebody's struggling and they may be acting out in a way that they they don't want to like times I've had to create boundaries with myself and I've had to stand up to my kids and you know and I've had people in positions where I've reached out to help to go you know you're a very strong mom for having to do that especially one of those things where it's like if you know that you're having to reach out for help it's a very very powerful thing it's like it's more um you have it takes more courage and strength to ask for help and receive than it is to like be on your own and give do you know what I mean it's easy to give stuff. It is. Like, you think that, yeah, it takes a lot for me to give up some. No, it takes more to, like, be where you need to receive and accepting and asking for help. Like, when you genuinely need it. I hope that made sense. I was trying to explain it. But somebody needed to hear that. 
So Knight of Discs is here and Four of Discs. Okay. So this is in the recent past. Something has slowly been... It looks like this bull has stopped here. It's interesting. It's not a horse. It's a bull. And somebody's sitting on this bull. And, you know, bulls are very stubborn. So this is somebody that is very stubborn. And he's looking a lot at a map. He's holding fire in one hand and a map in another. I'm getting this energy is um, somebody who's like has been really like trying to plan something out. And things just have not been going according to plan and they have all of this passion and they're at a standstill. They're stuck because they want something to work in a certain way, but it was it was never going to work that way. That's what I'm getting. And that could be why somebody was stuck. And it's like, look at this four of discs. Somebody was trying to make something work and it's like they're holding on to all of this money, but the door is shut. There's a closed door at somebody because you were trying to go. So this is somebody that could have been going down a situation where constantly they just kept running into blocks, 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 blocks. And they weren't able to advance any further. And this is something that I've been finally starting to realize that I've been trying to go down a path with certain people and situations that <laughs> nothing is going from. It's also why I've just... <sighs> I don't want to get too much in my personal situation, but it's just why this door is shut. And what's interesting is the door is locked and the key is right there on the ground. So you almost didn't even see the key. You're, you're missing something. There is a key to unlock that door, but it's going to require putting something down. See? It's like with this card, I almost wanted to say, like, he's looking back at the past. It's like, you may need to go, you know that saying, take a step back, take a two steps forward, like you take a step back and two steps forward. So it's kind of like, you got to put something down and then you're going to find a different way. You're going to, you're going to find something is easier. It's like, you're very hesitant to let something, put something down, stop something, not going according to your plan. But then as soon as you do, and you realize, like if somebody's like, you know what, I'm going to stop going, uh, go, I'm going to stop looking at the map, everything that's all planned out all nice. And I'm just going to go after my passions. Then it's just like, bam, then you see the key and the door opens up and it's going to be so much more easier, right? So you're hitting blocks for a reason. This is somebody that needs to restore their passion. And look at this two of wands. Like I said, this deck is like no other. It's so beautiful. I've never seen one like this. This two of wands, he's got his arm rested on the wand. If you look. And he's got another wand on his back with, with, a, with the satchel on it, which is representing like the fool, right? Where you can't take a lot with you, you might you're you're ready to head off on a new adventure. You can't take a lot with you, but it's like there's to me it's like you're at a, an impasse, right? It's like you're at this place where it's like you may be comfortable, you may have some sort of structure or stability in a situation, but it was only meant to get you so far. And it's like this, wherever you're going, like you're, re you're starting to realize that this situation set you up for where you're going. It was security for you, but you've already made up your mind <laughs> that you're, that you're ready to go off on this new adventure. You're ready to take the leap of faith, right? And you know that it may require you to go backwards because maybe you've built, maybe this wand within this wand is some sort of structure that you've built or you've invested a lot of time. Maybe you've got to walk away from something. I know I've had to do that. I invested everything I had into a home, into a car, and I had to leave the house and the car and all of those things behind to go off on this new adventure, right? I wouldn't change it for nothing because I've collected like so much loot <laughs> and I don't mean physical possessions. I mean, I've gotten some beautiful treasures. Yes. But the experiences, the, the enlightenment that I've gotten to the life experiences, to how it's opened me up to the world, to, um, I, to being able to move around and, um, get fresh energies. It's caused me to advance spiritually. And I fully accept every part of that journey. And throughout that journey, like, yeah, I, I was living as a gypsy, packing up as I go, traveling, you know, moving around this, the end part of the journey, I've gotten more stable where I've been, you know, consistent for months at a time. But, you know, but packing very lightly and going, and it's definitely been very fun and adventurous. So this is somebody that's ready to 
<laughs> on getting packed lightly and be adventurous, right? So, pay, yeah, page of wands. Because that's that curiosity and that excitement. This is somebody that's ready to go adventure, um, pursue their passions and desires and dream. It's a new energy, too. This is, And see, she's looking far forward. So I feel like this is going to happen very fast. It's like something's gonna happen where once you once you put something down, once you do once you let go of this security, all this passion is just gonna like push you forward. So I'm getting yeah, ace of discs. You're getting this new foundation. Mm, it looks beautiful. This, yeah. A lot of times the ace of discs you'll see like as the clouds are offering it a disc too. It's like you're being like divinely offered a new beginning. Look, the ten of wands came out in reverse. Wow. Yeah. That's letting those burdens go. Yeah, look, four of cups. See? And the four of cups, sometimes you see two cups that are knocked over and two full cups, right? I know that's five of cups. What am I thinking? Four of cups is a missed opportunity, right? Yeah. Sometimes I get mixed up on it. Because I was looking at the flying cup here. So something wasn't fulfilling for you anymore. Somebody's having to walk away from something that wasn't fulfilling. Because somebody, there, there's a golden cup. You just, you knew something wasn't fulfilling for you anymore. The ten of wands. You were being hesitant at putting down these wands. Yeah, you real. This is something I told you. This is stubborn energy. This is because the Ten of Wands, too burdensome. You got to put it down. I bet the Ten of Wands is the opposite of that. You not, you not wanting to. It, to me, I'm feeling this relief of end of struggle, but also it's you're you've been very stubborn, not wanting to put put it down. Hold on a second, guys. Mm. Why did it say the two of wands? Okay, let's see. I like to look them up for you and make sure I get them right. It indicates the end of hardship and struggle. So I was right. It's the end of struggle in terms of career and... Wow, I'm not working at all. I'm getting this in all areas. It's a, I just seen 10, 10. You could be seeing that. Could be letting you know. It is done. I feel that this has been done for a long time. For some of you, could have been seeing 10, 10 for a long time. You, it's the ending of struggling. Ace of Swords. You're getting this new beginning. For a lot of you, it's this activation, this realization. You're realizing that something wasn't working because you were so stuck in making it work a certain way. And it's like, as soon as you just be in your passions and stop forcing it. It's like you were putting your passions behind you and focusing on the plan. It's like one of those, it's like if you tell yourself like the only way I'm going to get this is if I da -da -da -da, do this. And you have it because you're telling the universe like until I have enough money, until I have a secure job. Like I've told myself like I can't get a home until I have money saved till, you know, I, I'm secure and stable till I can show this, till I can show that. And just so focus on a certain plan and saying how it needs to be. And when I finally have just started to embrace this full journey, like, you know what? This is where they wanted me. They don't want me to have a plan. I'm just going to be free. I'm going to be open. Now let me put my passion back into it. <laughs> then things are going to open up. Now everything that I wanted is really going to come to me. But it's like it couldn't come to me because I was projecting in a certain way. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, your way wasn't working. Divine's got a better way. <laughs> Wow, so, hmm, yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> you're indeed, it's going another way, wow, and that, and you know, <laughs> we're getting ready to come into eclipse season, eclipse is literally eclipse things out for new things to come in, that's like divine intervention, when those happen, a lot of times it's divine, it's like, nope, it'll take something out, put something in, it's like course correction, realignment, a lot of that is going on. Like two of discs, you may have had to needed to make a decision. You could have been in this energy of like you were uh, waiting to decide for a while. There are three butterflies here. There's definitely the power of threes. We've um, because I'm picking up a lot on the cards and with what I see. 
Um, th that's the yin yang symbol too. That that's a perfect balance of light and dark. But yeah, it looks like it's coming. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that devil's getting ejected from the tower. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Wow, look, there is a tower moment. Divine is bringing a tower. Uh, it is blowing something up and it has to do with a devil so somebody this could have been what was keeping you stuck and trapped right devil keeps you in fear somebody was in fear i'm getting and by being in control of fear that's what was keeping you stuck in that security you were you were in fear not wanting to travel and explore maybe because things weren't going according to plan um hmm, so if you were holding on to some <laughs> i'm just gonna stop this is just sometimes you just got, you got to quit trying to even make sense of it that's why i felt to stop quit trying to make sense of it this devil was blocking you and divine is is um yeah that devil had that these lovers are tied up <laughs> letting go of fear stopping that devil from controlling you is how you blow up that tower right wow so that's what's happening here yeah because you got your passion there's definitely a decision here Ooh, it has to do with love now there's that five of cups that i was feeling and death card and, and the hanged one wow oh somebody chose themselves that's what happened yep somebody got their power and their strength started to take action two of swords you know that often you know is where you don't see you're not you're blindfolded over her not wanting to make a hard decision there's a yin yang symbol oh my gosh on top of that sword see somebody needed to balance out <clears throat> they needed to get their divine masculine a lot of times that's what it takes the divine feminines a lot of times we were too soft right <laughs> we feel as though we need a man we need a protector we need somebody to do our i'm here bidding for us <laughs> so when you start to have sovereignty over your own life and a lot of times that's what it takes you standing up for yourself standing up to your mask and like you don't own me you ain't gonna tell me how i'm gonna be or the dreams passions desires maybe this is what this was somebody was trying to get like somebody on board here because remember i felt to talk about how like nobody was embracing my channel and my gifts and when i started to realize that you know what like look at what a great job left you know i'm doing and i started to take control of myself and I was like, yeah, look, I'm getting, you know, support and comments and, you know, I've, I've advanced very much from when I started, you know, I look back at my first readings and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> like I, like I've tried to go delete them too. And divine's like, no, because the, there'll be malfunctions. I'll be like trying to back up, back up. Cause I don't know electronics very well and how to get all around. So I get tired of like scrolling and all of that and then it'll like time out on me or i'll mess up and i'm like i'm not doing this again <laughs> i really need somebody that knows like tech techy stuff to help me <laughs> i know once i do too it's gonna unlock a whole bunch of things right just like i'm old school like i use my facebook i know everybody's like now on like instagram and and snapchat and well, I know my kids are, and all that stuff, and Twitter, which is now the X. Like, I didn't even know what was going on with my phone. Like, I don't even know about all this stuff, but I know that it's the new, uh, so I got to figure all of that out anyways. Um, yeah, so somebody, you know, finally, you know, taking, making decisions, starting, I told you, somebody is aligning, getting downloads, aligning, you know, like the heart and the mind and realizing these things and getting into their power and strength, right? And it's bringing in like so much love. This is someone that is starting to love themselves, starting to love the journey, the passions, just kind of everything. I don't know if I can show this card or not. It'll pick it up. It's so beautiful and colorful. Look at that. Love it. So, um, yeah, five of cups. There's two full cups here, but see, the last thing is um, I'm getting somebody's like trying to clear out what's in the mind because a lot of time your mind gets stuck repeating and playing things out over and over and over again. I'm getting very strongly somebody needs to release like guilt and feelings. There's definitely an ending, yep, and a letting go. And it's about getting that new perspective, right? You know, realizing that you needed to release something and let it go. 
It was blocking you, holding you back. So there's going to be a new perspective. 3444 is a say that. Seeing all those fours. Very beautiful. All right, guys. I'm going to leave this reading here. I'm saying love and light to all of you. Definitely feel free to subscribe if you have not. Um, that way you be one of my um, cosmic divine dreamers, right? Because when I do collective readings and I pull on the collective energy surrounding me, you can very much come out in those. Um, always feel free to check out my description box. I'm going to be putting more stuff up there about... Um, different platforms, different things that I'm going to be doing. Um, and yeah, that's what I had. Oh, definitely like, comment, drop emojis, all that stuff. Very beautiful. Love it all. Liking the video does an energy exchange too. I feel some of your energy, right? So it's reciprocated back and I send love and light out to all of you. All right. Bye guys.